Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, I might the explosive one. Let's get into another one. So TNT. Yo. So Dr. Alana Muskus has bought the Twitters. Oh, we're talking Elon today. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of talk about this. Okay. Not about him specifically. Well, yeah. I guess kind of. All right. So, okay. So you have a bit, all this money, right? And then you <laughs> uh -huh. crazily uh -huh. overpay for a company. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then you go in, and one of the first things you do is fire 4,000 people. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if that's the hard number on it, but I did hear you talking about firing a yeah, lot of people. Yeah, I I think I did see that it was actually, like, thousands of people he's laid yeah, off. Yeah, like, yeah. So, so, like, I guess, okay, before we get into the messed up part about that, <laughs> why did, like, Twitter is not very, like... It's just like it's 200 characters. It's like a stream. Like, why do they need 4,500 employees <laughs> in the first place? <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm sure a lot of it has to do with the fact that Twitter had its own infrastructure infrastructure already established. And when Elon comes in, of course, he's going to want his own team of people there. Well, of course. Going, for, going as far as like the board of directors to his own IT team that he already knows and trusts, you know? Yeah. If I paid $44 billion for anything, I'm going to make it exactly how I want it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, but I guess my point is like Twitter, see, like, and I guess there's a lot that goes into moderating Twitter, right? Because it is a cesspool of like hate. Funny enough, the ethical AI team was disbanded, which is why they had a shoot up of uh, use of the N word apparently by 500%. Oh my lord. Even I, I went on there and just rang off a couple. <laughs> He just went out there and dropped the n-word just yeah just, just, just like nigga, 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 nigga. oh yeah yeah <laughs> just just because just because it was a little hot in the streets right now nigga, 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 but, uh, just got him off just but yeah off. dude it so okay so that, that that aside like i don't know why they have that many employees like i get it mm. but they're they they do not do a lot it's not like they have games and all this other stuff it's mm -hmm. like it's all just messaging like i don't know what those 4500 people do maybe data mining yeah I, yeah i don't know I'm, I'm not exactly sure either um but I mean, like it makes sense for Elon, especially since though he uh, he overpaid for it, and he he's made it very clear. Everybody knows he did that. You want to trim some of the fat, so yeah. Trim well, the what fat. I what I didn't like was he went on online and then said like, "I have to do this because we're bleeding four million dollars a day," and then he's like complaining about like how it's losing money. And I was like, "Shouldn't you have thought about that before you bought it for forty four billion dollars?" I mean, he did. That's why I tried to back out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Until they threatened to sue, and then he was like, okay, I guess I kind of got to pay it now. Yeah, but, like, don't as the world's richest man, don't make us feel bad that you bought a bad business. And that's uh, why you're ruining 4,000 people's lives. Hey, look, I'm not donating to the Save the Kanye West Billionaire <laughs> Fund. <laughs> I'm um, not donating to the Save the Elon Fund either. Any more than I give a shit about Elon Musk's feelings <laughs> about buying a company that is bad for business. Yeah, dude, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm interested to see what happens with Twitter, right? But, like, mm. there's... Like, okay, it's, I mean, it's obviously, we know it's a tough world out here right now for everybody with inflation, right? But then I mean, not gonna... for Elon Musk or Kanye West. No, no, not, no they don't not care. not bad for them. No, they don't care Even with their fuck-ups, it's still, they're living great. They're fine. Yeah, Elon will be all right. Yeah, me and you, we're struggling. Yeah, yeah, I ate ramen all week. Yeah, by the way, my cash app is TNT Dynamite 777 <laughs> In case you want to support you in the... Yeah, help a brother out. If they help you with nutrients, then you can come on the show and talk about with more vigor. You can be out here, like, just saying, like, yeah, I'm all healthy now. Hell yeah, buy me a sandwich and I perform better. <laughs> yeah, it's like the, it's like those girls on Instagram and Twitter. They're like, here, if you want to buy me lunch, here's my cash app. Like, <laughs> right, right, Like, right. yes, do the same thing. Hey, if you want to feed Jonas so he can come to the podcast, <laughs> Cast with more oomph. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, throw it out there. Make sure when you feed, when you send a TNT, you tell them it's for Jonas, though. You got it, yeah. This is Jonas's money. 50-50, oh, fair. fair. But yes, but anyways, like, so, like, those some of those people's lives are, like, thrown up into, like, you because, like, if you're working at, like, Twitter or Facebook, right, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. you think you got a decent career. Like, oh, okay. I mean, I don't know anymore. Facebook seems like it's, it's, it's dying. But, you know... And then you're out here. Some people, I'm sure, got sick kids, sick family members, things like that. And then they're like, then their 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 insurance gets taken away, really, man. Really Elon planned. just threw them in the trash two weeks before Thanksgiving. Jonas really playing that violin. Look, man, wah, it's wah. <laughs> it sucks when anybody loses their job. Absolutely, and yeah. I'm not an advocate for these mass fi firings um, on any level. 
Um, but you know, it, it, it kind of happens when you work a job, there's a chance you may get fired and there's a chance you might have to look for another job. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, absolutely. But I, uh, I thought I saw a thing online that was really interesting. I thought it was like, you know, 20 years ago or whatever, you know, all, all, a lot of these jobs and like, you know, working like manufacturing and like things, all these jobs have been getting less and less. And they were like. Go to tech. Go to tech. That's the next big thing. And then now, like, so everyone goes to tech and learns tech stuff and goes to tech mm-hmm, jobs. Mm-hmm. And now they're just like, we don't need you as much in tech. Like, just get rid- like that. It's like this. It's this cycle of like forcing, pe- not forcing, but like pushing people towards the industry to the point it gets so oversaturated that now it's like, mm. now it's like, they mm. don't need everyone. And now all these people who have built all their skill up in tech, there's the the pool of people that need the jobs is like ridiculously and large that, yeah it's way more competitive now that's a valid point i never even thought about that and it's so yeah what are they gonna do they got fired from twitter like where are you gonna go work man like uh, yeah and with a lot of like these major companies like like uh facebook or meta yeah. and and twitter and like th- they're having less people working it's like where does a person in tech go yeah, because I mean, you yeah, you need all those people at some point, but you start streamlining processes get mm-hmm, easier. Mm-hmm. You're like, and like I feel like, well, especially that like Meta is. Do you see how by do you see how much money they've spent on the metaverse? By the way, too, too damn much. How much? It was over like the last three years. It's like thirty two billion dollars mm. to build a metaverse that looks like an Xbox three sixty dashboard, mm. dude. That's insane. Bill Gates is like, hey, hey, uh. Hey Zuck, I built I built this in 2007 for way less money. Right, dude, I couldn't believe it. But yeah, I think I a, other thing I saw online that was like, I they're like I think we're watching the end of Twitter and Facebook in real time, and I couldn't be more yeah. excited about it. Yeah. And I was like, it does kind of feel that way, right? It does. It feels like like because they're they're like the uh, F- Facebook has become MySpace. Oh yeah, Facebook is only for old people now. It's become like geriatric, like uh, just geriatric conservative yeah it's like you gotta be over 30 <laughs> to use yeah. facebook now yeah yeah like my mom is still on facebook and she's oh yeah like, yeah she's like, like 80 my mom and my face oh yeah because all the old people finally they tried to get everyone on the old people finally get on and now now they just now like everyone's like well i can't post anything because my grandma's gonna like comment on it mm-hmm. so now they gotta like go over to another place that they're, 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 they're like tiktok old people ain't going to tiktok they'll, they'll go over to tiktok to cause all their ruckus on the internet I hated how like your 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 parents or like the older person in your family tries to get you to get back on Facebook. Oh God, like, yeah. you're never on Facebook anymore. Yeah, didn't you see my post? I hate that. No, I didn't that, see your. That post. is the big one of my biggest pet peeves in my life, and why I got off of Facebook. No, you hate it. Is when people will just be like, they'll call you on the phone and be like, "Hey, did you see my post on Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> did you see my post? Like." No. Did I comment on it? No. Then I have nothing to say about it if I did see it. Yeah. I, I don't want to get on I don't want to see you in person and talk about what you're doing no, on the you internet. No, you have to like it, leave an emoji, comment, uh repost it t- to your profile. Yeah, I got to make sure everyone knows that I love my mom. <laughs> make sure, dude, it was I remember <laughs> at one point I was like I like I would post something on Facebook. This is like 15 years ago like mm-hmm. and within within two minutes my mom would have commented on the post like every it became every single post i did every i'd be like can't wait for this party tonight and mom would be like be safe smile face yeah. <laughs> i'm just like i'm like it is what it is right it's very sweet right but like i'm just but like when it, it, it's she was on there man she was watching she was doing her stuff dude the thing I, I don't like about like uh, Facebook and, and other like social media is, is that you can't you really can't control the people that you have on. I mean, you can, obviously. But once you like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll find you on Facebook and add you. And then you see like some of the stuff that they're posting, whether it's just like gore or like some of the most <laughs> right. depressing shit you've ever seen in your life or just constant streams of your fucking kids. I don't want I don't want to see any of that. Yeah. Or just like or the uh, the begging for like pity. 
Yeah. Oh God, I'm so sad. Or yeah, you know, that, whatever. That's dude, the like, depressing stuff. That's oh oh. About. You said depressed. Okay, I I don't know what I thought you said, but yeah, dude. It's either like oh woe is me. Here's my kids, or here's here. Join this game. <laughs> yeah, like me on Candy Crush, I get a free candy. St- yeah, stick. dude. I'm like man. Any sucker so, pack. But uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. Thor Jonas. Do you? Oh yeah.